Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again. Before I get in my devotion today, I'd like to ask your prayers for my Aunt Dawn and her family. My Uncle Dick passed away on Sunday, and I had his graveside yesterday. Uncle Dick always had a story to tell, laughed easily, loved well, and lived well. We certainly will miss him, and just ask uh, that you would keep uh, his family in your prayers. My devotion today uh, is centered on a simple scripture from John 15, verse 13. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. This seems to really come um, clear in a story coming from back on June 21st, 2006, uh, from a story in the army. It took place in the Nuristan province of Afghanistan. And Staff Sergeant Jared Monte's 16-man patrol came under fire. One of his men were wounded and fell over a ridge into what the soldiers described as a death zone. Despite an intense firefight, he tried three times to save the soldier. On his third try, Jared was killed. He was posthumously awarded America's highest honor for heroism, the Medal of Honor. His father, Paul Monte, started an organization in his, son memory, in his son's memory called Operation Flag for Vets. Their veterans, uh, their volunteers planted 57,000 flags at the Massachusetts National Cemetery. His dad still drives Jared's pickup truck with military decals still on it. He explained, it's got his DNA all over it. I love driving it because it reminds me of him. Though I don't need the truck to remind me of him, I just think about him every hour of every day. A Nashville songwriter heard this story and turned it into a song that country singer Lee Bryce recorded, I Drive Your Truck, and it earned the Song of the Year honors at the 2013 Country Music Awards. You might want to take a listen this weekend. For me, Jared embodied the text from John as he literally gave his life seeking to help a fallen soldier and he put it all on the line in trying to help a friend. You know, I think it's so important that we remember Jared and the countless others that have down through the ages made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. Why is remembrance so important today? Well, when we remember the valor of our past heroes, we are inspired to emulate their courage in save, serving our nation and our neighbor. When we remember, we're inspired to serve, to serve and sacrifice together for the good of others and to God's glory. When we remember the grief of Paul Monte and all, who's loved, and all who lost loved ones, we memorialize this weekend, you know, we're inspired to pray with them and to love them and to reach out to them in compassion. And when we remember the price Jesus paid for our salvation, we're inspired to love him with all of our heart, our soul, mind, and strength, and to love our neighbor for whom he died. So, my friends, on this holiday weekend, when you enjoy a long weekend, when you fire up the grill and gather with family and friends, let's take time to remember Jared Monty and all those who gave their lives in service to our country. And let's take time to remember the sacrifice Jesus made for each of us as he died on the cross that our sins might be forgiven and that we might have everlasting life. Let's remember their sacrifice and let's give them. Amen. Just a couple of announcements to share with you. This Sunday, May 30th, uh, we will be moving our in-person worship service outdoors. Of course, weather permitting. The service will be held behind the multi-purpose room. We ask that you would bring a chair. 
And we've also added the option of staying in your car and listening to the service on the FM radio at 93.1. In case of inclement weather, we'll move indoors into the NPR during these summer months. Also, I want to encourage you to register now for Vacation Bible School that's being held July 18th through the 22nd from 6 to 8 p.m. You can register children from the ages of 3 through 5th grade via the tab on our church website, www.wesleyum.org. We look forward to seeing your children, and already many have signed up. Don't delay. Do it today. Let's close with this our time to, with our time together, excuse me, with a word of prayer. Let's pray together. Gracious God, on this Memorial Day weekend, we pray for those who courageously laid down their lives for the cause of freedom. May the examples of their sacrifice inspire in us the selfless love of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. We ask that you bless the families of our fallen troops and fill their homes and their lives with your strength and peace. In union, in union with people of goodwill of every nation, embolden us to answer the call to work for peace and justice and thus seek an end to violence and conflict around the globe. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. My friends, thank you for visiting with me today. Let's talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.